All right, so today I'm going to show you how to get rid of black algae. So, as you can see, there's a little bit of it still here. I haven't treated this yet. I just started to treat this and uh, decided to make a video out of it. So you see, around the light, there's black algae. A few days from now, that stuff would be in here like crazy. It'll take over the pool. It's a bad deal. You know, sometimes you get this green algae that's pretty standard and usually just a standard uh you know good dose of chlorine or something will clear that right up there's a million products out there that'll clear that up but this black algae stuff i find that it's pretty difficult to get or i used to find it is pretty difficult to get rid of as you can see the pool looks okay but we're getting the start of that stuff again and I think what causes it is if you have a pool leak and you can't keep your phosphate levels and stuff like that exactly where they need to be. Uh, I'm not a pool expert, but I do know how to get rid of this black algae stuff. I just don't know how to keep it from coming back. What the pool place says is probably because we have a leak. This is a rental property. As you can see over here, there's a you know halfway done patch job. We're losing a good amount of water. We have to fill it up from the well on a regular basis. but. Anyway, back to the point of the video, how to get rid of this black algae. So I like to scrub it first. If, uh, if you got like a, you know, a, an abrasive brush, ideally you want to scrub the surface everywhere to get the most out of this product. Uh, you should also turn your pool pump off. Uh, I'll go ahead and flip mine off. Just one second. So basically, you know, just flip your switch off or flip it off the timer for the day whatever you want to do but you'll want to turn it back on uh, several hours later so after you've got your pool pump off ideally you want to get any pool toys out but it's already a little late for those couple down there and my net is ripped so I'm not gonna have those out of there but I recommend getting your pool toys out and all that kind of stuff out this chemical is pretty strong so this is what I use. It's called All Clear Algae Kill. And this is literally like the only thing that I've found that'll kill this stuff. This is six pounds. Uh, you don't need the whole container. Uh, this is expensive stuff. I think this container was like 50 bucks, but you could use this a few times to get rid of this algae because it does come back if you have the same issue I do, but it lasts probably I don't know, you could uh, you could put the chemical in it and it'll be gone in like a day or two and then it'll be clear for, uh, if you leave the chemical in there, I don't know, usually I don't. We, uh, we don't like to swim in a lot of chemicals, so we just refill the pool after the problem is gone. But if you left the chemical in there, I would say uh, probably two weeks, three weeks. It's about, well, I don't know. It keeps it going for somewhere around two to three weeks. Just depends on the temperature outside and stuff like that. So anyway, let's get to uh, dispersing this stuff. I'll show you exactly how I do it. So you want to be really careful. Wear some gloves or respirator, stuff like that ideally. And then you want to sprinkle it. Just, you know, basically about like that. All around the pool. You want to make sure you get it to where that stuff is going to lay right on the algae. And it's going to kill it. I don't know if you can see this, but there was actually the start some of that all on the wall down there. So, we'll lay this stuff on there. And then it'll set for... I don't know, three to six hours, and then we'll turn the pool pump on and let the pool pump do its thing. And by the time, you know, tomorrow night rolls around, this stuff will be completely gone. I mean, your pool looked look brand new, like a million bucks. It's actually pretty impressive. So, now you know how to get rid of black algae. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting how-to tips. 
because I don't like to pay people a lot of money to come over here and do stuff like this. I'd rather do it myself, and I figure there'll be people searching this on YouTube, so now you know.